Carolina's telling the kids Bible stories, so I'm going to go try to sneak up and record her. She's looking at a baby Bible book. But they couldn't, they marched around in days and days and days singing. But they were like, why isn't our God doing something? And then the other people started teasing, well, maybe he's on vacation, or maybe he can't hear very well. And they kept teasing them, teasing them, and teasing them. So finally, they believed that his, the other person's God was the real God. They finally believed that. Can you believe that, Andrew? Yeah. I can't. They finally believe. Well, that's Since I can't believe. I know, because finally they just believe that, you know, out of nowhere, they just believe it. So, can you tell me who this is, Andrew? Mm -hmm. I think you know. J, J, Joseph. J, O, mm -hmm. Jonah. Jonah. He just got spit out by that big fish. You think that was gross? See, there's the water coming. Let's count the raindrops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight raindrops are coming down off him. Wait, let me count with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight, eight. And they're washing off him. They're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're washing off him. They're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Washing off him, drip, drop, drip, drop. And I bet there's some more coming off him soon. That some more will come off him, but the sun's shining. He's like, oh, I'm finally out of that big whale fish. And he finally listened to God and went to Nineveh and preached the good news and saved them. Because at first he thought, well, they're my enemies, so I should just let their city get destroyed and all of them. But, so he hid on a boat, but it, he, he forgot that Jesus could see him anywhere and God could too. So, he said, well, the storm is happening just because of you. Ow, but it's only the kids. Ow, so he's like, throw me overboard. And nobody on that boat wants to. But finally they believed. If that was what they had to do to the storm stop, they stopped. And so when they came over, a big, God sent a big world to come swallowing Jonah up. So he stayed in there for about three days and three nights. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can't. Well, that's, yeah, you can. And so, then after those three days and three nights, mm -hmm. God told the whale to spit Jonah out on the island. Mm -hmm. So when jo Jonah was spit out, he had he was mm -hmm. I bet he was glad to be out of that big whale's mouth. Mm -hmm. And he was, I don't think I ever have again, because I don't like that, and I want to obey God. So he went and preached the good news to Nineveh, Nineveh and... Their city was saved just because of Jonah listening to God. So now we're going to go on to the next one, the next page in our Bible. So, oh, I think you know who this is, right? Daniel. Everybody knew that was Daniel. Yeah. Count the lions inside that cave. One, one two, two, three, four. four. Let's count their bones. One, two, three. And you know what? Do you want me to tell you a story of it? Yeah. Well, first, the king had rules where we could pray God. But he put them his, his servants kind of people, helped him make rules. Well, they said, we want to get rid of Daniel. So we should think of a rule. So they thought and thought and thought of a rule to get rid of Daniel. And then they said, well, hey. I have a rule. Uh. And yeah. they listened to oh, the rest of them. And they said, hmm, that might be a good role. And you want to hear the role? Yeah. It was to nobody who prayed to anyone but the king for three weeks. That's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. It's lots, lots, lots of days. So then they said, so then they told the king, and the king said, yes, we will do that role. But he totally forgot about his friend Daniel that would only pray to God no matter what happened. So he said, whoever does pray to no, to other people but you in those three weeks, if they don't, well then you know what? They're going to be thrown in a fire furnace. And so Daniel's thrown in a fire furnace and God saved them.
That's a moth. I don't care, I'm gonna get it. Where is it, Mama? It's beyond those bases. But my bases? Uh, what base? Those things. You know, it might be inside bombs in now. That was just a very typical interaction of big sister Caroline with the brothers. <laughs> 